I don't believe that anybody should be assaulted for any reason other than if you are protecting yourself. And in that situation, you should only use enough force to eliminate the immediate threat. That goes for assaulting police too, by the way, I have to say. But this is a story that upset me a bit because I think it's something that we all would have done, all of us, faced with the same situation. Joe Hemming, an ambulance technician, was fired by East Midlands Ambulance Service because he restrained a man who was about to punch him in the face. The incident happened in 2021 when Joe was stationed at Grantham. Joe said, we were called to a well-known violent patient who had several warning markers in our system. He appeared to be intoxicated and got very aggressive. He kicked off on the way to the hospital whilst I was driving and I had to tell him firmly to shut up and sit down. That diffused the situation until we actually arrived at the hospital. When I was in the back of the ambulance, he raised his arm to punch me and I had nowhere to move. I had to think quickly and react. I put his arm behind his back and he calmed down a few seconds later. I reported the incident as normal and didn't think any more about it. Then I heard that I was being suspended for attacking a patient. I thought I had used reasonable force. There was CCTV which showed what happened and my ambulance partner and the hospital staff backed me up. The patient never even made a complaint. Now, although Joe says he doesn't resent the patient, in fact, the patient apologised and said he had no recollection of the incident, but he does blame East Midlands Ambulance Service for their handling of the situation and now fears that other ambulance workers will be too afraid to protect themselves in the future for fear of similar action. Joe was, before the incident, practically EMAS's poster boy, as his good work had been celebrated and he had appeared on TV on behalf of the service and even after the incident, before Joe was sacked, he had been called back to deal with the same man and says, I showed him nothing but respect. That's how ambulance staff are trained. Every day is a blank slate. My issue isn't with him, it's with the situation and how EMAS handled it. Although Joe was sacked for defending himself, he did appeal to a tribunal and won after the ambulance service failed to respond to the appeal. However, Tina Richardson, Deputy Director of Human Resources and Organisational Development for the East Midlands Ambulance Service, said we are aware that this case is ongoing and subject to additional external procedures through a formal tribunal process, which are yet to be completed. Therefore, it is not appropriate to comment any further at this stage. It's a hell of a cop out. The ambulance service say they encourage all staff to report any aggression and violence against them. They've now implemented body worn cameras and say that they will work with the police where necessary to prosecute offenders. But that doesn't prevent people being assaulted. It simply allows for the prosecution of the offender after the fact, which could have already left the victim with serious injuries, both physical and mental, if not worse than that. I think that based on what's been said, Joe did what he needed to do and no more. He didn't do a police constable and let loose his aggression. He simply restrained the man without injuring him, which is far less than a lot of people would have done in the same situation. And so I think that East Midlands Ambulance Service has really dropped the ball on this. I know this isn't the normal kind of video I do, but I've said before, when I think somebody needs reporting on, good or bad, I will report on them. And I think that Joe is right. Why should people in any role go about their job and simply allow people to attack them without using his common law right to self-defence? Common law supersedes work policy. And I thought that I needed to share this here on the channel. What do you think? Do you think that just because you work in a particular role, you shouldn't be allowed to defend yourself from attack? You know what to do.